Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use manual gears with a controller on PlayStation, Xbox, or on PC, and it's as easy as pressing up and down. There's not much out there on transmissions on consoles, and there's no help window to tell you what to push, so you probably don't even know what to do. So I'm going to make that easy for you and put it all in one video. Wheel buttons are basically the same as the controller buttons on consoles, as the paddles don't work when shifting gears, at least as of right now. I'm not going to go in depth with the different transmission types or the different things that you could do on PC as I wanted to get this information across to you guys as quickly as I can so that you can get back to having fun and playing with manual transmissions. If you like videos like this or just want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, make sure you get subscribed so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Let's break this down into three sections, each with their own unique thing. So first we have automatic transmission. That's for all platforms. Very easy to do. Just Press the gas. Manual transmission for all platforms. A little more difficult with your controller. And then manual with clutch, which is currently only an option on PC. And you have to map your own clutch button when using a controller. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that and show you which one I used as well. Remember that you don't have to use one of these over the other if you don't want to. There's no specific case that calls for one versus the other. Just use whichever option that you want and have some fun with it. It's what it's all about after all. You're going to find all of these options in general settings and input controls. You're going to go down, you're going to see right here direction change, gear shift mode. Those are the two that you want to be worried about. Also, speedometer displays values. You could do vehicle speed if you want and be totally fine with that. I like the engine speed. That's probably my favorite, especially if you use a manual. You're going to want to know how fast your engine's going. Gear shift mode, well, that's sure. Automatic, manual, or manual with clutch. I'm going to be showing this off on PC today so that we can get all three. And then direction change, automatic, and manual. Leave this on automatic, it gets a little bit confusing. Don't worry, uh, check my Discord if you guys want a uh, sheet that shows everything. Let's start with automatic transmission. Um, well, it's automatic. You press the gas, goes forward, changes gears for you. What cool thing is, if you put it in automatic, it will change the gears for you. So you've still got gears. Hey, so we've got 15 forward gears and we've got four reversing gears in this John Deere 4755, which has a power shift transmission. Again, we're not gonna talk about that, but hey, neat to know. So there you go, that's kind of the setup. I mean, it, it's automatic. It doesn't matter what you get in, it's just gonna go forward. One thing to be very, very aware of when you're using automatic transmission though, is your zoom in and out. These buttons right here, up and down on the D-pad. If you're pressing the gas, they actually change the gear. So you could change up some gears, you could change down some gears, but your, your, your game's gonna constantly be fighting you. So you can override these gears if you want to. You can, if I come in here, I can override uh, the different sets if I want to. So your loads and highs and everything, I can override all this stuff. And I'm hoping that maybe this is fixed in the future because most people, they're so used to zooming in and out while they're driving and stuff like that. And again, the best angle, but if you get the gas pressed and you're, you know, trying to zoom out, all you're doing, as you can see, is bogging down your tractor into the lowest gear possible. So heads up, be careful with zooming in and out when you're using automatic with a uh, controller. So th there's some, there's some controller stuff. It's yeah, it's rough. All right, let's get into the fun part. Manual transmissions. This is available on all platforms and you can use it with a controller. The thing is, you have to have the gas pressed down. So if we're pressing down the gas, you see, press in just start first, okay. Start the engine, press down on the gas and nothing happens. It just revs the engine. You're gonna have to put it in gear. Press up on the D-pad as many times as you want, especially if you're not pulling anything and stick yourself in 15th gear. The thing is, you have to be pressing the gas in order to go down in gears, which is very frustrating and a little bit annoying, but because Farming Simulator uses so many different button combinations to do things, you have to do it this way. And I will tell you, it's almost as fast as if you slam on the brakes and if you just go down in the gear. So you could probably get this just as quickly I can roll. So again, press down on the gas and press up and down on the D-pad. And that's all you need to do. If you're using a wheel, you have to be pressing the gas and you've got to still use the D-pad on the steering wheel. Pressing the paddles, 
will not work. There's one other thing about manual transmissions you need to know. Let's say we've got this Valtra Valment right here. Now this Valtra Valment has a manual plus power shift transmission. It's got ranges in it. And as you can see, we've got LL, let's say for I assume low gear right there. So if we go in here in neutral, we can press right and <laughs> keep the gas held down, right and left. And you can see we've got low, low, medium and high. So we've got different ranges. And if we go inside, you can see a guy changing everything right there, which is kind of cool. I like, that. was my clicker on? My clicker was on. Get out of here. Get out of here. So this is the only thing you need to be worried about here. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn the clutch on. Let's not do that, shall we? Go in here and make sure you've got this thing in manual only. So we're in here, we press forward and we're going, but we're in low gear. Press right, we stay in fourth gear, but sticks us in fourth gear mid and then press right again and it'll stick us in high. So not only do we have to worry about pressing up and down, we have to worry about pressing left and right as well. So this makes it maybe a little bit easier because you're not constantly going up and down with everything. And naturally you've got different reverse gears as well and different ranges for said reverse gears. So it's, it's fun. Manual plus power shift is, well, it's fun. Check it out. The last bit is using a controller with manual and clutch. Now this is available only on PC and it's a little bit difficult because sometimes you could use one button and think it's gonna be okay. And maybe it doesn't. For example, uh, I've used the left stick input. Now I press it in, the clutch stays in. I let it out, the clutch stays in. I don't, I don't know. So that's another one of those things. You could press up. So maybe like up or down on the left stick. So like pull it down a little bit. Maybe that's what you want to do like that, uh, which is steering. So make sure you're not steering. Let's try that because evidently pushing it in doesn't work. Save the controls. Yeah, let's go back into the game. All right, this can't be too bad, right? So I pull down on the thing, start it up. And now I have to press the, <laughs> let off the clutch press the gas and now because this is a power shift i can actually change between all the gears without having to press the clutch unfortunately if you get stuck like i just did right here it stalls out so we press down on <laughs> again now we're in gear drop the clutch nope not working press it again go down now let's go ahead and start it first and now it wants to work again so we can go through the gears to be just fine Controllers really are not meant to be used with manual plus your clutch. It is really, really frustrating, really difficult. Um, and I, <laughs> I just don't recommend it. I think maybe using like the A button or something like that. And see, so yeah, I just stalled my tractor out again. If I press the gas, come around here and drop the clutch. Worked a little bit, but as soon as I stop again, I stall out. This is best to be used with a steering wheel or something like that, something you could control a little bit easier and have your own dedicated clutch pedal instead of trying to use it for other things. So just heads up there, is it doable? Absolutely. Is it fun? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's worse than Stow Runner. Get out of here. And there you go. That is your different transmission options and how to change gears if you guys are using a controller, whether it be for PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. Again, I do not recommend trying to use a controller with clutch. Now, if you've got your pedals, plug them in, use a controller. Hey, maybe that'll be fun. Maybe you've got a foot pedal or something, you can plug in USB. Ooh, now I'm getting ideas. You know what? Let's get out of here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure notification bells are on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I'll be set. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.